The Vietnam War is one of the most devastating and longest wars in the United States of America's history. According to the History Place, it began in 1961 when Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev pledged support for wars of national liberation throughout the world. His statement greatly encouraged communists in North Vietnam to escalate their armed struggle to unify Vietnam under Ho Chi Minh. The Vietnam War officially began when the North Vietnamese and the Viet Cong, an organization helping the North, took action and made Vietnam a communist nation. The people in South Vietnam retaliated at this change, wanting to keep their republic form of government. The U.S. fought alongside the South Vietnamese in fear that if North Vietnam won, communism would spread everywhere, including on their own soil. From 1950. From the 1950s to the 1980s, it was believed that if one country developed a communist government, the rest would follow too. This was called the domino theory. Since the U.S. were trying to find a way to resolve the conflict, they sent out millions of Americans to go fight and attempt to restore balance. Among these military recruits, there was one so brave soldier whose story is unlike all the others, Joe Bank. Born on August 3, 1942, Joe Banks' life was already not like the rest of the American citizens during his time. Although he went to school, did his homework, and slept like the rest of his youth, Banks' after-school life is what made him so different at such a young age. Being a minority during this time meant that you didn't have a lot of opportunities and choices in the things that you did. Since Banks did not have a lot of opportunity, he spent most of his time playing pool. In fact, he was so good that he bought his first car with pool money. Although, when he turned the age of 21, Banks would have to be more than a great pool player. But no did he know, throughout his whole childhood, people in Vietnam had been plotting a war. Before he knew it, Banks was being drafted or placed into the army in 1964. Since Banks was African American, he could not feel, flee the country like most did when they received the news. Even if they could escape, you should not have because it was illegal. Banks had to pack his uh, things, say goodbye, and go off to Vietnam. The Gulf of Tonkin, the Galfar Barracks, and Saigon, all some of the most important battlegrounds in the Vietnam War. Joe Banks left his home and family behind to go fight in all of these places. Stationed in the Galfar Barracks in Hawaii, a base for the U.S., Banks, along with the rest of his infantry, waited until it was time for them to be shipped off to Vietnam. When Banks and his infantry reached the Gulf of Tonkin, their boat had been attacked by a v North Vietnamese Navy boat. This was known as the U.S. Maddox Incident. After their battle overseas, the infantry headed for Saigon to defend the capital. While Banks and his infantry were going to Saigon, Banks knew what would come the passing day. He knew that there was a possibility that he would not make it back, but his mind was only for war. Fighting for their lives in their country, the U.S. Army was at Saigon doing their best to protect it. The president had increased the manpower even more because they knew that if Saigon fell, that was it. One by one, the soldiers fell and cried for help until finally the rest had no choice but to retreat. Running in shame and relief, the rest of the U.S. soldiers left Saigon, marking the end of the Vietnam War. Being welcomed back to home after fighting bravely in the war, Banks was not the same. After witnessing the true meaning of war and being set back to his regular life, there was more death behind his neutral features. Once the U.S. Army fled the scene, North Vietnam took over everything and made Vietnam a whole communist nation. Feeling like he failed his country, it took Banks a while to return to his normal old self, but he finally did. A couple years later, Banks met a woman so beautiful that the sight of her made his heart melt, Lavinia Cox, the future Mrs. Banks. Falling in love, they had a child, Joanne Banks. Back when Joanne was a young girl, Banks did not answer any of her questions about his time in the war. It was too painful. Now, in 2015, Joe Banks is a happy and healthy grandfather who will share his experiences willingly. Banks is unlike any soldier there ever was who survived the Vietnam War. His experiences are unlike anyone else's and it was a pleasure to be able to interview him. It is very incredible how even though he did not agree to, on the reason for the U.S. joining the war, he still did everything he possibly could to protect his country. Certain things happen to people for a reason. I feel the war was an eye-opener for Banks. This project certainly helped me learn a lot, not just about the Vietnam War, but the way the wars affect people in their present day lives. War is not something to be taken lightly. Not only do thousands of people die, but a lot of veterans 
have things called emotional scars. I know Banks does. Just remember, be happy with the life given to you and thank those who have helped you build it for you. Got lost in the promise of a love I never know.